two statements. The first statement, Arsenal look back to their best. The second statement, calm down, they only beat West Ham and Burnley. Uh, raise your hands if you believe it is the first statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Raise your hand. If you think it's the second statement. Raise your hand Wait, if you oh, haven't raised your hand. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think there's a, I think there's a middle I think there's a middle to say I really Arsenal put it up halfway. Yeah, to, to say Arsenal are back. Explain at it, them. Errol. You start, Errol. Go on, you you start there, bro. No, just to explain it, like I, I I fully rate what Arsenal are doing right now because the the gauntlet's been laid predominantly by City in the fact that if you want to continue to be in this title race, you've got to win. It doesn't matter who you're coming up against, you know. Two more games on top of the 13. That's 15 games. We've, we've been saying this for however long we've done this show now, Potts. I back the likes of City and Liverpool when it comes to crunch time. If there needs to be a 15-game stretch, there are only two teams that I, at that point in time, when we originally said it, deemed capable enough of being able to go that level of that distance. That wasn't the question, though, Errol. No, no, but this is, what I'm, this is where I'm getting to. The, the gauntlet's been laid down by City now to say, well, come on then, do it. And Arsenal now have stepped up to them plate and said, go on, we'll knock these out the park then. These might be, you know, cup finals, but there's 15 of them to go. So we've got to start building that momentum. Wiping aside West Ham, wiping aside Burnley is great for that momentum. But in terms of you being at your best, I don't think you've quite got to that point yet. I think there's still another gear and another level. And you'll probably see it. And it'll be in the games that will be the the ones within the running that are tight games where you come out and you think, I didn't expect us to, you know, walk the floor with Spurs or I didn't expect us to get a result against City or, um, you know, Palace or whoever else you've got. There'll be a few teams in there that you'll think it'll be tighter than it was and you'll just find that gear and it'll just click. For us, the same way, we've not won at Brentford in, in our way at Brentford the whole time they've been at their league. That could have been a huge banana skin for us. But the way we dismantle the team that we normally historically struggle against, that to me is like, okay, there's there's elements of Liverpool being at the best there. So I think you're just a couple of games shy of being me fully being able to back that logic. Do you think but, Liverpool are back to your best, but Arsenal aren't back to their best? Is that what no, you're saying? No, I don't, I don't think Liverpool are at the best. I don't think we've been at our best all season, though. And it that's sounded like that, Errol. It sounded no, like no, that. No, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't a Finley Vale swipe. Don't worry, don't worry. It was, just, right. it was just more of the examples of... I know what you're that, saying, and I and don't I disagree that, with what you're saying, but I'm just... I feel like there is still elements of last season that I look at and think, wow, yeah, we were really good then. And there's still that part of me that thinks, oh, I'll be back to it. And I think we've played some shocking teams. I think that's fair. Apart from Liverpool, I don't think are a shocking side. Mm. But we have played Palace. We have played West Ham. We have played Burnley, who are on their knees. But I think the way that we've beaten them is total demolishing. It wasn't like, you know, oh, we've we've scraped past that. We were controlled. It was 2-1 last-minute goals. And we've seen that not long ago, by the way, against teams like Brentford, against teams like Luton. But now when we're coming up against the teams that we should be, we've properly destroyed them. So I would say that there's elements to our game that looks like we're back to our best. But I think it would be fair to say that you might want to watch it for a bit longer. But before I come to Misery Guts, who's still wondering how he conceded six against his side that isn't at their best, uh, let's come to you, Dan United. I've been impressed with Arsenal. I've, I, look, I've, I, you're talking about these teams you should be beating, and we are off the back. You've beaten Liverpool. You've beaten City this season. These are teams that, you know, you say they're crap, but you should be dismantling them. Not West Ham, don't worry. I'm not going to in on all this. But teams like Burnley, you should be dismantling these teams. And the fact that you've done it, I think, I think things are starting to click. I think the players are looking really good. I still question the depth in the squad. I think that's something that further to the line, the, the games that Errol's talking about, where it is, you know, you need to all these runs of 15 games. Well, there's 13 left. Is there 13? There's right 13 saying? left now. 13, 13. Yeah. The, way you, the way you're saying that, Dan, they've still got the likes of Newcastle, Brentford, Chelsea, Villa, Wolves. They're the games where if you if you take them apart Brentford and have the same Brentford though, Errol. They're probably not, but it's it's that type of side from your opposition where you think if you can manage to dismantle them and remain in control and then obviously not drop too many points in the big, you know, six pointers, so to speak. That's when I'll be like Arsenal are at the best. That is that is what it, it comes down to for me. But mm. but teams have dropped teams have dropped points this season. City have dropped, you know, dropped points. They've dropped yeah. points against teams that you wouldn't expect. And we all went into this 
last run, where are we now? The 19th of February. We, a lot of people on this panel were saying it'll go down to two teams pretty soon. Well, we've got, what, what is it one game left in Feb? Yeah. And we're, a, we're in a three-horse race. You know what I mean? There's a lot of games. There are tough run-ins. I think we've, we've established looking at the, the run-ins. You've all got teams to play. Arsenal have got to play United away. Um, Liverpool have got to play United away. City have got us at home, which you know we know we're terrible going there. But you've still got these important teams to play. But we're talking as if City and Liverpool aren't going to drop any more points here. There's plenty of points to be dropped for all of the top three. So I, I think I think this 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 run is going to go a lot closer than people are, are, are willing to admit that it is. I, I, and, I, and I'm all for it because, <clears throat> excuse me, as a United fan, I've been used to seeing two horse races for a long time. Let's see a free horse race. Let's see it go down to the final two, three weeks. I'm all for that. All for that. Could be amazing. I can't remember the last time there was all three in it. I think it was 2008 where it was Arsenal, Chelsea and United, I think. Um, maybe there's one sooner than that, but that's the one I can think I, of. I, the top of my head. I think the Leicester one. The Leicester one. But oh, Spurs yeah, sorry. It was really Leicester. Spurs were never really in it, though, let's be honest. Spurs, uh, to be fair, neither were we, really. I mean, we kind what? of were in a title race, weren't in a title race. To be fair, Leicester had kind of... So actually, sorry, Dan. Pots, Pots, who have you got out at the moment that look like they're close to coming back? Tommy Yasu is coming back soon. Jesus, Zinchenko, and then by the end of this month, Timber and Party. That's that's that's. I mean, we'll, do you know we'll take Party out of the way because Party Party will uh, drop a yeah. funny, he'll drop a bottle of vinegar on his toe and be out for the rest of the season. But the rest of them, you talk about having the depth in your squad. Brilliant. That's what you. That's what you need. I think we've got to stop with this whole Arsenal. You know the. Banter and banter, and they're in a free. They're in a free horse race at the moment. And the the most important thing, the last two games, is goal difference. Your goal difference. You got eleven goals in the last That's two games. Difference. They've got the most points now, or goal difference by one. They're How important there. is goal difference? Massive, bro. I just, I, 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 you have earned the right though. Like that's. I, and I said to you, we've said this from the, the start of the season. I've always said that Arteta was building a rod for his own back, and you said, you know how he goes out this season and not necessarily out the door, but how the season ends for him is going to be a lot of context. If he manages to take it to the wire against, you know, the all ever great Pep that's ever present and then the next best in class in Jürgen Klopp and he's in and amongst it, you've got to give him, you've got to give him his dues because... 100%. Uh, mate, if he wins the league with a, with a Kai Havertz as well, Errol, Everyone's been going off about it. If he wins, if he wins a league with a Kai Havertz, and let's as be honest, the they've not man. had a striker. They've not had a striker, have they? They've not had a striker that's banged in goal for them. Well, this is this is what we were saying before in in, in the group chat. You know, we were talking about we got the best league. goal difference, and we haven't had a number nine he's sitting that's there on the, best, on the best goal difference. So you know, your defense has stood up and and and, and dealt with the the task at hand, and you've got you sharing the goals amongst enough of the team to to give yourselves enough of shout and that's why I said you're in it by credit you you you've you've got you there by your own merit I should say and I that's why I think I think it's I think the best thing for us this year in terms of our chances is the fact that you are here because City have done it against Arsenal on their own City have done it against Liverpool on their own, but City haven't done it when they're both bearing down on City. And I think the fact that City have to play them both in previous years when we've been fair game for it or wanted to challenge for it, it's been fair to say Arsenal haven't been there or thereabouts and they haven't had enough to, to take it uh, blow for blow with City. So those games at the Emirates, those games at the Etihad, you've lost home and away and it's not been enough. But we've almost been asking for a favour can Arsenal do us something? And it hasn't happened. You was pretty much in the same boat last year. You thought Liverpool are a team that will always go and do something at City. The only game we had to really give them last year was our best game of the season. That was where we beat them 1-0 at home. After that, it kind of imploded. And I think this year now... Do that City again, and... Errol. Do, do that again, yeah, please? No, 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 no. This, <laughs> this, this is year, the bit, that's the We're looking at it. It's a massive and... fixture, that, man. Ten, massive game. Of March. This is what I'm talking about. We're saying it's going it's gonna, to it's, it's gonna roll on. It's yeah, gonna that, roll. It's gonna roll on. But that's the benefit now. It's Arsenal are still going to be in the thick of it. Come, I'm looking at the dates. I've got the dates up next to me. You play City on the 31st of March, so that's the end of the that's the end of that month, and we play them at the beginning of the month. So you are going to still be in the fight come the end of March, which massively helps our chances and vice versa. So we could do each other a favor by taking City out of the equation if we both got our jobs right. 
Yeah. But we've got that little bit of extra wiggle. We both, we both want to be, Errol, sitting there when Arsenal play City and Liverpool play City. We both want to be sitting there on those fixtures with popcorn, enjoying it, relaxed. I don't want to be sitting there going, oh, what do I want here? We could be out of this, whatever happens here. I don't want that to be the case. I just want to be in there still. And for, for, for me, that is going to be absolutely key, man. But listen, Lawless has been very, very quiet. He thinks that Spurs are getting ahead of us in third and we're coming fourth. And uh, I just want to hear if, if his thoughts are still the same on Arsenal being shocking. And uh, it's all a little bit of a flash in the pan, I imagine. So uh, over to you, brother. <clears throat> well, listen, do you know what the reality is? You are at your best. You're <laughs> at your best. Yeah, I agree. Arsenal are at their best. But guess what? Your best ain't good enough to win this league. That's the sad reality that you're facing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can, you can beat a self-destructive West Ham. And then on their ass, Burnley. And listen, take the credit. Take the credit. But guess what? There's a lot of games to play. Advantage is in the hands of Man City with their game in hand. Advantage is in the hands of Liverpool. You've got to go beyond what you did last season, where you had the advantage. Now you've got to come from behind. You've got to show that fight and mentality. Have you got have you got the tools? Okay, you're getting all of these players back. All these players are gonna come back and you know push you on. But are players gonna stay fit? Are those players gonna come back and stay fit? That's the question. Everything sounds all rosy on paper. Dan United's waxing lyrical about all these players that you're getting back. Wow, that's gonna be beautiful. Oh, you're gonna have a, such a deep squad. No injuries, I'm sure. I'm sure that's it. Fitness all through the rest of the season. And listen, when you get in them deep waters, mate, then we'll find out. Then we'll find out. But enjoy it now. Look, there's no reason for you to in, in, in the midst of things. Like, stop talking about the title and, and what you're going to do and favourites. Like, just enjoy the results in isolation because you're putting stress and pressure on yourself that you don't need. You're setting yourself up for a fail. Sit there and go, wow, brilliant. We scored five that's goals. That's rich coming good, from man. you, mate. That's rich coming. I'm what? sorry, Lawless. That's rich coming from what we had to listen to from you when things were all firing and you were telling us you're doing the Lies. chest. And then you're, come on, mate. Lies. Like, come on. Lies. And also, you misquoted me as well because you say I'm waxing lyrical. The thing I said was, it's all dependent on the score. Oh, mate, you was fucking gushing. You was having no, the it's all dependent on the score. Score. And you're talking like, you're talking like. It. They, no, you're talking it. like no one else has got injuries. At what cost did the win come for fucking Liverpool against Brentford? That's a sub. Was it three, two, three players off before we half lost, time? We lost Jones. Um, we lost... Jota? Know, we lost Jota and then we took Nunes off as a precaution. And they got and over the line, though. Yeah. But they had injuries going into that game. They got over the line. But what I'm saying is you was gushing. Oh, my God, the depth that you've got. The players that are coming back. Oh, Timber. Oh, fucking Such an, Timber. Such an extreme, Oh, Jay's very good. You need to go back to oh, fucking telling me to eat cake, mate. Uh, no, actually, I, 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 don't, I don't like that notion that, like, Arsenal's best is it isn't necessarily good enough because... City have been nowhere near the level they was last year in terms of how much in control they look. They was fighting on all four fronts last year. They looked like they had energy to burn and they looked like they had a lot of control. This City side, yes. and I don't know whether LB look would say they drop. Look how far behind they was Arsenal. What are you talking I know. about? No, but, they but, split but, up multiple times yeah, and we did exactly the same thing we do every season. You write off City. You do it's it every season. Right like right you hit right your head and get amnesia. You Who's do it who has written, who who's written City off? Who's written City off? People do it every time. Oh, City, nah, they, last year they was good. Last year they was on all cylinders. This year it's a different story. Every single season we hear it. Every si Oh, they've dropped points to Chelsea. This could be it. This could be the time that City now, they've, they've, we've seen their best. They're past it. They're done. They, this is, they're still in the driving seat in this, in this title race. Obviously, points-wise, Liverpool have the advantage, but this is still City. This is the big, great white shark. This is Jaws, right? They've and I'm a killer whale, bro. I'm an apex predator. We don't fucking lie and roll over in this bitch. Let me tell you right now, yeah? City 
are not the same machine that they was last season, and that's a fact. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not. I agree. Not I agree. With that. I agree. And then, but do you know what the worst fucking thing is? Right, you lot say this every year. City are not the same as last year. City not the same as last year. When they go and win the league, you cry. You fucking cry. Oh, they're turning that. it into the Bundesliga. Oh, look at this. They're cheats. They're this. They're that. So is it that they're not the same and they're not that good, or are they? the cheats and financial doping and all of this. Like, you can't make your minds up. So so no, surely no. if they're not the same, which we said last season, ah, oh, they're not as good this season, and then they go on to win the league, that says a lot about the coaching and a lot about the players. We can't cry cheats. No, but we said that from day one. That good. Our little, argument, bros, little bros yeah. bringing the smoke for big bro not being here tonight. I know. Little bros bringing the smoke. And this is where you're conflating the two things because you're, you're are... Arsenal's little bro, yeah. aren't you? You're fucking yeah. Arsenal's little bro. Arsenal's... Tell me what, <laughs> tell me what, tell me what I fucking said. Tell me what I said. Oh, tell me you what guys I said. were gushing. You guys gushing. Oh, oh, you know what the thing is? Three horse race. You're talking. You're talking like I said. It's Oh, I love the fucking three horse race. Count to three, mate. You should be able to count. You can't into six last. Yeah, guess what? Week. You're you not one of the fucking horses. Fuck you're the you're the fucking lame Don't horse that's to take out and put a bullet in its head because it's fucking can't run no more. That's What's what that? you are. You ain't one of these horses. So why do you give a shit? What you're are you not talking in it. about? You're never gonna be in it. Never. So it doesn't matter. Never. Never. No. You're never. done. You're yeah, done. Okay, your mate. club's finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like you're never gonna be in the elite of Europe, mate. You've had your chance time after time, and guess Tim what? Rag, Again this season. Shit. Again this season, you fucked it up again. Shit. You fucked it up. You put yourself in a great position. I got Kudus. I got Bakir. I got Bowen. Where are you now, mate? You're fucking ninth. A point of tenth. Oh, oh, but it's fine. But Arsenal having injuries, that's a fucking thing to consider, isn't it? Oh, Arsenal. Oh, you, you're missing your timber. And well said, party, but you'll get him back and then you'll be good. I asked when he was back. I didn't say, I've never said you're missing timber. Watch yeah, the show. Back. What did you say? That. Oh, the depth. Never said the that. depth. The depth. The depth once they come back. Is that not true? Yeah, you was gushing over the depth once oh. they come back. Mate, honestly. Gushing. <laughs>